Range of motion movement. Range of motion refers to how far you can move a part of your body stretch. If you notice, there are some people that can do the splits with ease and other like myself that cannot, the joint nor the muscles will allow a full stretch. ROM exercises preserve flexibility and mobility, it also reduces stiffness and will prevent or slow down joints from freezing. In order for a joint to have full range of motion, it must have good flexibility. Each joint has its own level of flexibility, and it is expressed in degrees. The range of motion is measured at the joint with goniometer. Flexibility is the range of motion around a joint, and can refer to ligaments, tendons, muscles, bones, and joints. If a joint has good range of motion, then it would be able to move in all planes and directions permitted to that joint. For example, the elbow, which is a hinged joint, only permits movement in one direction, but it should provide full range of motion from extension to flexion. There are three types of range of motion, passive, active and active assisted. Passive range of motion is done without the assistance of the client and is done typically on clients that are unable to move, mobilize the joint or might be paralyzed. Active range of motion is performed solely by the client with the direction of the therapist and how it must be done. Active assisted is performed by the client with the assistance or guidance of the therapist.